For former state senator Ernie Newton announced today they plan to file a civil rights suit against the election commission and the state. As we've reported, Newton entered a not guilty plea to charges he falsified $500 in campaign contributions so he could qualify for about $80,000 in public campaign funds for his state senate race last year. Newton's attorney says they believe he has been treated unfairly because he is an ex-felon. Commissioner, uh, election commission, st stated from the beginning that Ernie should not be running. His view was quite clear. And everything else that manifested since his comment is what we have before us. It was a witch hunt to support his comments. Newton's attorney also said today they gave the judge notice they're planning to file a motion to dismiss all charges against him. We'll continue to follow this story for you. In a News 12 Connecticut update, the attorney for former state Senator Ernie, Ernie Newton announced on Thursday they plan to file a civil rights suit against the Election Commission and the state. As we reported, Newton entered a not guilty plea to charges he falsified $500 in campaign contributions to qualify for about $80,000 in public campaign funds for his state Senate race last year. Newton's attorney says they believe he has been treated unfairly because he's a convicted felon. Commissioner, uh, election commission, st stated from the beginning that Ernie should not be running. His view was quite clear. And everything else that manifested since his comment is what we have before us. It was a witch hunt to support his comments. Newton's attorney also said on Thursday they gave the judge notice they're planning to file a motion to dismiss all charges against him.